I have waited for about two years for Xiaomi to come out with a global version of the smart microwave oven, but it didn't happen. Also in this video, I'm going to answer my own question. Do we really need a smart microwave oven? Join me until the end of this video to know the answer to my question. Please subscribe first and click that bell for you to be notified of new videos here on my tech channel. The text on the panel and the LED display and in the manual of this microwave oven are all in Chinese. Thanks to the Mi Home app for saving us. But wait, you can't just use your usual Mi Home app in the Philippines. If I try to connect uh, the or add the Xiaomi microwave oven to this app, what's the search? Yeah, automatic. Pero sabi dito hindi siya na detect. So we did not need to add manually kung andun siya or available siya dito. So, hanapin natin dito sa uh, kitchen electronics, okay? Kitchen electronics, magkita mo dito maraming mga uh, devices here. I have my induction stove, my rice cooker, then meron ditong uh, oven. So, check natin ang oven. But the oven here is the Viumi Smart Steam uh, and Convection Oven. So, hindi ito ang microwave oven. The reason for this is... Sinabi ko na kanina that uh, this microwave oven is the Chinese original version and for the longest time, hindi nag, uh, nag came out or hindi gumawa ng global version ng Xiaomi. So, nanatili itong uh, Chinese version. So, we have to uh, connect the microwave oven to the China uh, server Kung makikita mo dito sa aking uh, app, sa Mi Home app ko, ang settings ko ay nakalagay dito language and regions Philippines. Kung i-change ko to, to China, I can log in to China. Kaya meron din ako account for China. Ang problema lang is yung mga devices ko na nakakonect dito sa present setting ko cannot be used uh, in, the, in, the, in the China setting. So, uh, ang gagawin ko na lang is to have a dedicated uh, cell phone para sa Mi Home app na ang setting is China. Para at least magamit ko ang uh, microwave oven plus other devices na hindi pwede sa Pilipinas or para lang sa mainland China yung uh, setting niya. Our regional setting in the Philippines is Singapore where the server in the region is located. So maglalagi na ako sa China mainland. So I have to change the setting. Language region, region is Philippines. Uh, hanapin mo yung mainland China Okay, save Then, nakalagay uh, dito after, after switching the server devices Already paired with the current server Cannot be configured in the app And previously generated device data Cannot be viewed or deleted Okay, so yun yung nasabi ko Yung mga devices mo na nakakonek Sa setting under the Philippines Under the Philippine server Hindi mo na magagamit siya Okay, naka-sign in na ako. Nag-update na lang siya ng data. Now, we have to add add a device. Hahanapin natin ang microwave oven. Kung makikita nyo, ang daming uh, devices no? sa China Milan server. Oh, dito na, microwave oven. Click natin ang microwave oven. Then, uh, meron tatlong uh, pagpilian dito. I do not know kung saan dito ang tatlo. Uh, ano lang, try natin. I-reset natin. Okay, nag-blinking na doon sa ang micro ang Wi-Fi sign okay, doon sa machine. So, I push or I click the device reset. Tingnan natin kung tama bang napili natin yung una. Wala kasi marka eh. <laughs> Hindi natin alam kung ano, anong version doon. So, wala siya na hindi siya na detect. So, hanapin natin. I-try natin ang pangalawa. Sabi dito, uh, other similar devices found nearby. So, ito ang click natin. Siya yung nakikita. Connect to my 2.4. Then, um, next na ako. So, nakakonect na siya agad. Ang bilis.
okay successfully done then I have to create a new room uh, let's see let's see where's the kitchen here bakit orang kitchen to ano to may kitchen siya okay set room name kitchen okay next uh, miss smart uh, lagayin ko na lang ng microwave oven para shortcut ang haba niya next add to favorites yes uh, not not that for now on the app i check the various cooking modes of the oven so ito na siya um meron siyang defrost meron siyang mga recipe then you can also use the microwave oven for sterilization then you have your favorite settings um defrost microwave ovens are best known for towing frozen meats so ito na yung sa defrost makikita mo dyan may mga kategory siya if you are going to defrost meat then ang maklagay doon sa display is D1 so again it's Chinese characters on the display so I don't know how to read Chinese but there's there are numerical codes so uh, just memorize it <laughs> D1 for meat, D2 for poultry, D3 for seafood okay then um, na try ko na yan kanina when you press uh, for example, the defrost ko ng meat ng mag press ko, I have to select the weight so, uh, in-estimate ko lang na 100. <laughs> okay, maset mo rin yan doon mismo sa display sa microwave oven talagang na to, ha? <laughs> so, yun, nadali na lang ako magtuto I also towed frozen chicken meat while selecting D02 under defrost mode and defrosting is set at 4 minutes and 30 seconds. For poultry, ganun din, may guide siya. You have to just read and uh, para familiar mo ang instructions. And seafood, okay? Seafood, that's, that includes fish, di ba? It's for recipes. So, sa recipes, and dami dito. Uh, different categories. We have dessert, steam and boil baby recipe then it has its corresponding uh, codes so gagawin niyo na lang at ito rin ang gagawin ko whenever i will use the uh, microwave oven i open ko itong app kasi sa app may english doon sa display ng microwave oven walang english doon <laughs> naka chinese characters lahat doon okay so yan ang recipes then we'll move on to sterilize for sterilization uh, kalagay dito microwave sterilization B1 and B2 B2 is for the feeding bottle disinfect disinfection so naka program na tong feeding bottle it's you see 10 minutes then all you have to do is just click and start and you can also schedule kung kailan mo gusto mag start ang uh, pag sterilize then B1 is ganun din uh, 5 minutes lang ang uh, sterilization niya and sabi dito this mode can remove the bacteria and odor in the chamber of the microwave ah uh, ibig sabihin pala itong setting nito is when you going when you going to sterilize mismo the microwave oven so ito yung gagamitin mo <laughs> be sure to remove all uh, items inside so this is the only time that operating the microwave oven where or when you can remove all the items inside because naturally and it's being advised that uh, do not start the microwave oven if there's nothing inside then the favorites is i think you have to add kung ano yung gusto mo na settings like in other Xiaomi's kitchen appliances, you can monitor the cooking on your phone via the app. I use Google Translate to navigate the display on the oven so that the Chinese characters are translated to English. There are two selection buttons right below the display. The left is the uh, function button or mode selector and the other one on the right is the power level. Pressing the function button well, uh, set the oven to defrosting, recipe, sterilizing, and favorites. Initially, I add 
popcorn as my first favorite. You can also add any recipe or defrosting to favorites or you can program your own recipe or your own favorite recipe. Back to defrosting. At default, the defrosting is the first selection on the function or uh, mode button. Rotating the selector knob here will select what type of frozen food you're going to do. D01 is for meat, D02 is for poultry, and D03 for seafood. Once you select the appropriate food, press the selector knob. This is the selector knob, and you'll be prompt to set the weight of the raw food. 100 grams, there's a letter G here, 200 grams, 100 grams, and so on, etc. Once it's done, you can press again the selector knob to start the defrosting. So just press here and defrosting will start. Okay, so the same procedure for the recipe and favorite functions. Now for the power level, this is the power level button on the right side. The first uh, light here indicate um, the level at very high power, po very high power, in which the oven is going to operate at 100% microwave power. We press it again, then that's uh, high, in which the power is at 80%. Next is uh, medium, the power is 60%. Fourth level is uh, low which is 40 percent microwave and the last level five is very low which uh, in which the microwave power is set at 20 percent you should choose the power level button if you're going to heat food or do some quick heating or boiling a cup of water once you select the power level you can set the time. Just turn this uh, selector knob. That's 40 seconds. This is one minute. Okay, then start. Okay. To cancel any function or any, any cooking, you just press for a while. That's cancel. Press and hold, I mean. Popcorn is the most common food to be cooked inside microwave ovens. I also tried cooking breakfast. So to your tsura, after 15 minutes na medium slow yung setting niya, ganito na mukha ng bacon. I think it's already cooked. Alang tawa lang yung pagkaluto niya. There are portions na medyo charged siya, but that's okay. So I'm going to cook egg. Frying egg on microwave oven. So let's put the egg here. Okay. I don't know what setting should be used. <laughs> so I set yan under medium the cooking level, then uh, cooking time is around two minutes. Let's check the egg. Oh. Ah, may tubig pa. So, ito yung egg. Hindi pa, nag, hindi pa nag-solidify yung white niya. But the egg yolk has already started solidifying. So, maybe another 5 minutes. I set kanina at 5 minutes. So, another 5 minutes. So, yun na ang egg. We can take a closer look quick. The only thing is, it will stick to the pan, to the plate. <laughs> Maybe next time we'll put oil because it will stick to the plate. The oven has a child lock feature. You can use this by pressing and holding the function or menu button for about or for five seconds
and the display will show LOC that's short for lock then to disable the child lock press and hold again the mode button for five seconds the child lock button is purposely um, included in the oven to protect the oven from being uh, started or played by your child if you have uh, little guys there to answer my question at the beginning of this video do we really need a smart microwave oven I navigated the app and see how smart the microwave oven is when you say smart device, it's not only digital but should be connected to the internet and you can control it remotely via an app on your phone or gadgets. Like the Xiaomi Smart Rice Cooker, you can also start and stop cooking on the microwave oven by just clicking a button on the Mi Home app. There's no way you can add menu in defrost, recipe, and sterilize modes because these are set by Xiaomi. However, you can set your own cooking style or recipe and place it under favorites by selecting the heating setting and time of cooking in minutes and seconds. You can name your recipe under favorites. Like the smart rice cooker and Xiaomi induction stove, there's only one automation rule on the smart microwave oven. So here are possible answers to my own question. While you can control the oven on my phone, but I preferred using the physical button on the oven. You can create your own recipe on the app, but not on the oven itself. Automation is limited, hence I am not using it for now. As a conclusion, I would say, partly we need a smart microwave oven. This oven will consume over 1 kilowatt of power in an hour, so it means you're going to pay about 10 pesos in electricity if you're using it for an hour. Its microwave power is at 700 watts, which is lesser compared to other microwave ovens, which is at 1000 watts. Its efficiency rate is at 52%. Most microwave oven works at about 50%. The efficiency rate means only about half of the input power or the electricity it consumes can be converted into microwave power. In short, microwave ovens waste a lot of electricity in the process. This, however, is being offset by the fact that microwave cooking only takes a couple of minutes, so you'll ultimately consume less electricity. The microwave power is generated by a magnetron. A magnetron looks like a transformer, not the transformer film series, but it resembles a power transformer. However, a magnetron is a vacuum tube that produces microwave frequencies, and this is the energy used to cook food inside the oven. Xiaomi is not producing magnetron. It imports the magnetron manufactured by Toshiba. A typical magnetron could last up to 2,000 hours of operation before it loses power. But Xiaomi claims this magnetron has long life of up to 4,000 to 6,000 hours. You should not start the oven empty because too much energy will be reflected back from the empty oven to the magnetron. The food inside the oven absorbs the microwave energy when the magnetron releases it. The rated microwave frequency for this oven is fixed at 2.45 GHz, which is common among microwave ovens. While this oven has no turntable plate, but it has a square heating plate inside where you place your food container. This plate is a microcrystalline that replaces the mica plate. There is something unique in this microwave oven I will show you. Inside, you can see here, uh, there, there are two grills on the side, the left side, then there's the wall there, and the other side, there's also a, a, a solid wall with just a grill here for the lights. But you cannot see here mica plate or the mica sheet. If you notice the traditional or the conventional microwave oven, there's usually a portion here uh, a micro a mica sheet uh, it's like in a rectangular or uh, a square form that mica sheet is used to cover the microwave guide so what is the microwave guide the microwave guide by the name itself is used to guide the microwave the signal the microwave from the magnetron so in short it's like a canal it's like a path of the microwave so that when the magnetron emits the microwave it passes through the canal through the microwave then microwave uh, guide then the microwave guide 
the microwave will pass through the mica plate. So the mica plate is a cover. It's a great insulator, and uh, it's a it's widely used in uh, several uh, electrical applications. Most of the conventional microwave ovens, the magnetron or the microwave will pass through the side, but in this microwave. You cannot see any microwave uh, or any, any mica plate, but instead there is a micro crystalline plate, this one. It's a uh, square. This serves as a replacement of the mica sheet, okay? So in other words, the microwave on this oven is not passing on the side, but under the, uh, or the, at the bottom. So, the magnetron is emitting the microwave signal on this direction to the bottom and up here. Okay, so this is a mic. That's why they call it plate heating. Um, I I really have to search why this is used. This is called plate heating. Uh, that's one of the features that I found on the uh, uh, manual of the of this microwave oven. So. I found out that this is used to insulate the oven from the microwave that passes through the microwave guide. So the microwave guide is under this uh, area. So under the bottom or at the bottom, there is the microwave guide. Instead of this side, Xiaomi put the microwave guide under uh, this base. And on top is the microcrystalline uh, plate. Then the signal from here bounces here, 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 here. So uh, uh, that makes the cooking uh, even because um, in microwaving, if you, the food is steady, the food may not be cooked evenly because the signal of the microwave is like this. Okay, so there are portions that they call it hot spots. That's where the portion where the microwave touches most. Okay, so masubrahan siya sa luto. That's why tinatawag na hot spot. So to resolve that, ang ginawa ng mga microwave oven makers is to uh, install a rotating plate. Tinatawag na turntable. So that makes the food uh, cook evenly. Kasi umiikot yung plate. This oven has 20 liters capacity while it only weighs just over 10 kilograms. Sara natin. Oh, magaan siya. Matulak lang eh. Kailangan mo i-hold. The door opens at a large angle, 90 degrees, from the oven's edge, giving ease in placing large microwavable containers. The light bulb automatically turns on when the door is open and turns off when the door is closed but will be lit during cooking. The display will also turn on in standby mode when the door is open and turns off 5 minutes after closing the door. The door has 4 layers of tempered glass and it has 3 levels of lock protection suites. Like in my other reviews, I will post new video in case there's a major update or upgrade to the Xiaomi Smart Microwave Oven. If you have questions, please comment below and please subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell. Thank you so much. I'm Jun Dariman. High Tech Tabay.